My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will talk about how we can get Outlook messages out of Outlook and work with them, including attachment. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will mean a lot to me. So uh, with that said, let's go to Outlook. We got a mail inbox here with uh, a lot of mails in. It's just sample automation emails. And um, we want to uh, get those emails out and work with them. So uh, go to a UI path, then we will uh, choose a uh, get Outlook mail messages here, drag it in, go down and mark it, and then we will talk about the settings. So first the account. If you don't specify an account, that will just be the default account. However, uh, you can have more accounts and then you want to specify which one of them. I only got one here, but let's just specify it. So if we got more, we uh, specify it. This is the account that we want to use. Then the mail folder. And that is uh, the name of the folder that we want to get the mails from. And this one is Inbacke, so we want to change it to Inbacke from Inbox, but you can uh, do whatever you want. Uh, set the name to just the, the mail folder that you want. Then we can choose a filter, like say we want to filter some mails out. However, we won't touch this. We can choose that the mail is set to be read whenever we work with them. We won't touch that either. Um, and then we can choose to only get unread messages. That's okay. So we're, we will get all ma mail messages, unread and read. And then we can set a count on how many mails that we want to get. So here we got 30. We could set it to 10 or 100. However, 30 is appropriate. Then we want the output to um, store the, all the, this, these mails in a variable in a list. So control K and then we can say mail list like this and we can go down to variables and see the variable down here that's fine um, then we will use a for each to iterate through all the mails here drag it in under here and um, so we will choose a, a for each and then for each item in the mail list and uh, while you're still at this for each then we will change the type argument up here uh, browse for types and then we will search for a mail message. Let me drag it down. It's uh, sometimes a bit slow. Mail message. And then on the system 4.0 something, system.net.mail, choose this one. There's several, but uh, yeah, make sure you choose the right one. Then we click OK. And now we specify this. Then we will just delete this body. And say that we want uh, from each of the mail, we want uh, the date maybe first. So then we will just uh, use a right line like this, drag it in, and then we will use the headers command. So item, headers, and then we can uh, choose that we want the date to come out. It's good to be familiar with these uh, .NET commands, so I can recommend that you learn them. And uh, let's try to run this. So we run this file. and. Uh, then we go down to output and we can see that we got uh, all the dates with times when when uh, these mails were sent so that's uh, good say that we wanted to um, have uh, other things out so we want a date then we might want the from that will be the item we can use the from and then to string and maybe we also wanted uh, maybe the subject of the mail so item subject to string like this Let's try to run this go down to output and we can see that uh, here we got the, the date we got the from and then we got uh, the subject that's nice however we um, might want to get these data out of uh, this right line. We can't use it too much. So let's see how that is done. Let's say that we want to um, move it to Excel, like the data. So um, we got a uh, folder here I just created. We have an Excel sheet called Mails. I'll open that so you can see it. It's just an empty document. So uh, like this. That's it. And um, say we want to uh, save all these data, like we want uh, the date, the from, and the subject saved in this Excel sheet. Maybe include, maybe we want to include a um, 
some sort of an idea. So we can uh, differentiate all the males with a unique identifier. We could use the date, however, if two males is it's, it's sent uh, on the same date, we will have a problem. So let's create an idea while we uh, do it. So first, we need to build a data table. We will just build it in the beginning, and we will choose the data that we want in our Excel sheet. So let's just delete this first row. And then we will uh, delete, delete this column too. We only want string columns. That's the easy thing to work with. So edit it down here, the first one. That could be our idea, like this. Then we could have a, um, a date. Then we will have the from. Again, you can choose uh, from a lot of different things that we want, uh, but this one will just be our example. How here, if you got any questions, just write them below and I'll uh, definitely answer them uh, very quick. So this one will be our data table. Then we need to, in the output, we will press Control K. Then we will create a new variable called DT. We can just call it males. And again, we uh, created it down here. Then we will, um, let me close this one down, sorry. Then we will, um, now we created a data table, then we could write for each uh, male, we could write something in that uh, to that data table. So first, we will inst we could write these uh, into a add data row here. I think we will just um, we will uh, assign them to variables. It will be easier to look at, but you can write them directly in if you want. It. However, I will use a multiple assign. I like. Uh, Everything is in order, so it's easy to look at, but you don't have to do it like me. So control K, then we will first have a str date, and that will just be uh, this variable here. So copy, copy it up here, then we can delete this. Then we got a from, that will be a control K again, str from, like this, and then we want uh, this value here. Like this, then just delete this, and then we want the subject. So control K, str subject, like this, and again copy thing in here. So now we got the variables. Then we can um, think of that we wanted a um, some sort of an idea that will just be an easy one. We will just create a variable down here. Let's uh, mark the scope. Create a variable. We could call this maybe it idea that will be an int 32 and that's it so um, and we can see it uh, let me mark the scope again we will give it the default value one that should where it should start so when going through the first mail the, it will have the value one and then we want to increase it with one every time we want to the mail so the next mail is two three four five and that we will just do click variables here. Then we will just do an assign in the end of the loop. Let us see where the loop is. The end of the loop that's inside here. So let's drag this assign in like this. That will be a so the int idea equals to int idea plus one. Now we created an um, ID counter. And uh, let us write uh, these things into a data row to our data table up here. Then we can write it out to an Excel sheet. So uh, let's choose add data row like this. Drag it in here. And uh, up in array row, let's just uh, click the three dots. Then we will use the curly brackets first. We need the uh, int idea to string this comma then we need the str date then we need the uh, str from comma str subject that's it so we got a um, data row uh, a row draw a data table with the idea the date the from and the subject and that's exactly what we created up here in the data table you can see it here idea date from subject right click it down here again idea date from subject that's okay then we need to specify what data table we want to write this data row to and that's just this data table we build it up here the dt mails 
So um, just choose the DT males here, and that's it. Now we, uh, what we're doing here is that we build this data table, then we add data to it, we add e each male to a row, and then we can print it to an Excel sheet. So choose uh, the right range, just make the workbook here, that's both the Excel and the workbook. And then, so in the end, uh, we'll choose the path of the workbook, path, uh, the, pa the, the path of the workbook, sorry. So go to um, where you uh, got your Excel sheet, and I got one here, mails, that'll be the one that we write to. And then we will sheet one, that's okay, we will just delete this and then we will choose the data table that will be the DT mails and now we can write everything to this Excel sheet let's see how that works it runs now and uh, now it stopped let's check the Excel sheet to see what we got let's see <coughs> it opens up it's always exciting to see all this new data. And we can see here that we got a, um, all the data that we wanted. We got the idea number here. We got uh, some, um, we got a date. Then we got the uh, from, and we get the mail subject. We could also have uh, the mail here, but uh, this one is just that uh, the thing that we wanted. So um, that's good. Um, we will, um, so right now, we haven't um, discussed how we got the attachment now. Say that we want uh, the attachment to be saved. Like this is just the mails, that's good. We got the idea, but we want uh, some attachments to be saved. Let me close this one down, go back to UI path. So uh, we can use this uh, save attachment. And um, what will this one will do, let me drag it in. We'll drag it in up in this sequence here. So save attachment. Um, then we will, uh, the mail message, that will just be the item here. And then we will uh, specify where we wanted uh, the attachments to be saved. Let me, uh, that's the folder here. I will just create a folder, I think. Call this attachment, like this. Go back to UiPath, and then we can uh, choose this folder. We will, um, here and uh, let me find the attachment like this so this one will just save the attachments to this folder if there are any i think there'll there'll be a couple let me run this again now it runs and um let's go let's go back to the folder and we can see that we got a meetup here a iCalendar file and an excel sheet so there, there was two there were two attachment here but I think this one is the one that's the I calendar, the meetup. And then I created actually an Excel sheet up here as well. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how you save attachment. However, we could run into a problem. Say that uh, two attachment has the same name, that wouldn't be nice because then uh, the newer one will override the existing one. And uh, that will be a bit of a bummer. So uh, how can we uh, solve this? Well. We need to uh, first, um, we can create a folder, so a unique folder. So let's create a folder first. Then we'll create it like from here. And then, so we can choose a path. That will just be this path. However, we will just copy this one in up here. However, we will um, add something to it. We will add uh, this idea number to it so we can refer to it. So uh, let me open it up over here so we will add a slash here then we'll click plus and then we will have the int idea to string well let's see what this is doing and then what we'll do is that we will copy this again and we will choose that the save attachment we'll save it in the exact folder that we just created let me delete this and then paste it in here like this so now let's see what happens we might run into another problem, but I think it's not a problem that we cannot solve. So um, let's go back to the folder. You see, now we created a, a, <laughs> a lot of folders into this attachment folder, but uh, 
those ones are empty. It's only the one, I think, was it 17? Uh, so, this, so it creates a folder whether we got an attachment or not. That's not quite clever. So let me delete all these folders and see how we can solve this. Delete this. And um, so what we'll do is that we will make an assign. We will um, drag this assign in. We will drag it uh, just right here. That's okay. And we could call this Control K uh, Bool, and then uh, we could uh, call it um, maybe we could call it Attach Exists because this one is a um, it will uh, see if there's an attachment, and then we'll set a true or false value. So true attach Bool attach. Uh, this one will just return a true or false if the mail got a uh, attachment. And then we will um, use the .NET command item attachment and then uh, .any. So this one will return a for true or false. So we'll go down to variables. And the bool attach, uh, change this to a boolean, like this. And then we can make an if. So if this is true, then we'll create a folder, right? So if, drag it in here, and then uh, move the create folder up in, and the save attachment up. Like this, and then the condition should be the bool attach just. So this just mean if this is true, then we'll go here, otherwise we'll go here. And uh, this one should work, let's try it out. Then we go to the folder, and we can see that it only creates folders uh, when, when there's an attachment to it. That's quite clever. And, and if we open up uh, the mail that we, uh, the Excel sheet that we got, then we can uh, see that we can we get an idea. So we we know that uh, these attachments got a one and a seventeen, and then we can just uh, ref uh, we can see that. This one is the one with one, and this one is the one with 17. So we can refer to that when we work with the mails. That's quite clever, isn't it? We can uh, use it a lot. And if you get any questions, just type it in below. I will be glad to answer it. If you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel or like the video. That will help me a lot. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye.